Hey everybody, here we are back again doing some industrial hygiene calculations. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate the combined sound pressure level when you are in a workplace where there are multiple machines and each machine is producing a different level. Uh, look at the problem here. What is the sound pressure level produced by four machines? Each machine produces different sound levels. The SPL of the individual machines are 88, 92, 97, 93. Now we, we had another video tutorial where we looked at uh, how we calculate uh, sound in the workplace when there are multiple machines and all machines produce the, are, are producing the same individual sound levels. And that's a different formula. Different formula for that situation versus this situation. And this fit formula, I'll tell you right out of the gate, it's going to be a little intimidating to you. It's got some mathematical operators that maybe you haven't used that much. Um, so, but don't, don't be intimidated by it. I'm going to work through it slowly. Any of you can do this. It's, the math is not that difficult. It's just knowing, you know, learning what the different symbols are and the order of operations and, and those types of things. You know, we're going to work it out. You can do it. But let me go ahead and start with the formula that we're going to be using. L sub PT, that's what we're calculating, the total pressure level of these four machines. 10 log, and we're going to be taking the logarithm of everything that's going to end up in this bracket. And, and here is a new symbol that you may not be familiar with. Uh, it's like a backwards E, but it's a summation operator. And I'll talk a little bit more about that as, as we go along. But let me go ahead and get the rest of the formula in. We got the summation operator. We got 10 to the L sub PI divided by 10. Okay, let me let me try to explain this, what's going on here. The summation operator is telling us that we need to add up multiple, multiple uh, mathematical operations or multiple uh, numbers. In this case, we're adding up multiple mathematical operations, and that mathematical operation is right here. We got 10 to the power of an exponent. The exponent is L sub PI divided by 10. It's a fractional exponent. Don't freak out yet. Okay. Let me talk about what we mean by LPI. LPI is the individual pressure level for each of the machines. We got four different machines, four different individual pressure levels. So we're going to end up with four terms that will be uh, summed. We'll, we'll take the summation of these four terms. Uh, well, let me just do this, and, uh, and I think it'll make more sense. We'll talk about it a little more as we work through it. Okay, 10 is a constant. It's always going to be there. And now I'm going to rewrite everything in the brackets, and I'm going to lose the summation operator. I'm going to write down each of the individual terms that we're adding up. Okay, the first term that, that will be added to others is 10 to the 88 divided by 10th power. So we have, a, we have 10 and then a fractional exponent, LPI, 88. 88 divided by 10. Then we have 10 to the 92 to the 10th power, 92 tenths power. That's a mouthful for an Okie boy to, to spit out. Uh, then we have 10 and 97 divided by 10 plus 10 to the 93 divided by 10. So the next thing we need to do, we need to take these fractional exponents and simplify them. So the next iteration, that's all we're going to be doing. Just simplifying those fractional exponents. I 
left out. That might be confusing there. That's an equal sign, by the way. LPT equals 10 times the log of you know, everything in the brackets. 10 to the 88 divided by 10. That's going to be 8.8. .8. And I'm breaking one of my rules here. I'm doing it in my head. 88 divided by 10 is 8.8. .8. To save time, to get through this in less than 20 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and do some of this in my head. So 88 divided by 10 is 8.8. .8. So we have 10 to the power of 8.8 .8 plus 10 to the power of 9.2 plus 10 to the power of 9.7 plus 10 to the power of 9.3. Okay. Each of these terms, 10 to the power of 8.8 .8 and, and so on, those, those are, those are going to generate some pretty large numbers. So in the next iteration, I'm not going to write everything down. I'm going to do it within the calculator. So let's go ahead and move to that next iteration. And what I'm going to show you with this calculator, uh, again, this is the Windows 10 Scientific Calculator, not my preferred calculator, but it's one that I can bring up on screen and show you the calculations as we go. Uh, TI-30 is really a better, better tool for this, but we can make it work with this. So what we want to do, we want to add all of these, all of these numbers within the brackets. 10 to the 8.8 .8 plus 10 to the 9.2 plus 10 to the 9.7 and so on. And I'm going to do that all within the calculator. And this is how you do it with the Windows 10 Scientific Calculator. In class, if you have questions, I can show you how to do it with the TI-30. All right, first thing we want to do is enter 10. Then X to the Y, this key here, X to the Y. Then enter 8.8. .8. That's that 10, 8.8 .8 that you see in your calculator, that's this first term. Okay. Now we want to add, whoops, yeah, now we want to add the next term, uh, 10 to the 9.2 plus 10 to the 9. 0.7 plus 10 to the 9.3 and like I said we end up with a really big number 9,222,000,000 I'm going to go ahead and write this big number down 9,222,000,000 188 then we have a decimal I'm gonna round that to two decimal spaces or two decimal places um, 0.18 all right now we need to take the logarithm of this number of this 9 billion and, and change number to do that with the Windows 10 scientific calculator all, all I need to do is press the logarithm key again would, it's going to be different with the TI-30 uh, and we can work on that in class or individually if we need to but I'm going to go ahead and take the logarithm of this number by pushing the logarithm key and voila there we go we have the logarithm of 9 billion and some change go ahead and bring this on down it's 10 times 9.96 The logarithm of this number is 9.96. And we are almost there. The last iteration is just a multiplication. 10 times 9.96 equals 99.6. Ninety-nine point six decibels is the combined sound pressure level for these four machines. 
these four machines combined to produce 99.6 decibels of sound pressure. All right, that's it. And I know it's a little more involved with all the exponents and the summation operator. Um, go back and watch the video again if, if you need to. Uh, email me, call me, um, see me in class, after class. You know, uh, We'll get you squared away on this. If you have any questions of any kind, let me know. All right, I'm out of here. I will see you in class and see you in the next video.